a student has two spherical mirrors, a convex mirror with a 30 centimeter radius of curvature and a concave mirror with a 20 centimeter radius of curvature. Which of the following can produce an upright image that is larger than the object? An upright image produced by a single mirror must be a virtual image. A virtual image that is larger than the object can only be produced by a concave mirror. This is when we use a concave mirror as a makeup mirror. We would hold the mirror really close to see the bigger upright image. In fact, the object distance has to be less than the focal length. Because the concave mirror has a radius of curvature of 20 centimeters and the focal length is half the radius, so this is 20 divided by 2, 10 centimeters. So the object distance has to be less than 10 centimeters, so the answer is D. An object is placed 10 centimeters in front of a spherical mirror. The image is upright and half the size of the object. Where is the image? An upright image produced by a single mirror is a virtual image. Because a mirror reflects light, the virtual image formed by the extension of light rays must be behind the mirror. And because the magnification HI over HO is also negative DI over DO, size is proportional to the distance. Half size means half distance. So 10 centimeters divided by 2 gives us 5 centimeters. So the answer is 5 centimeters behind. The answer is E. A glass converging lens has a focal length of 10 centimeters in air. What would its focal length be when the lens is placed in water? The index of refraction for glass is 1.51. The index of refraction of water is 1.33. When we shine light rays parallel to the principal axis at a converging lens, the rays will meet at the focal point. When the lens is in air, the light rays would go from air to glass and then to air. With each refraction, there is speed change and the rays would bend. When the lens is in water, light rays will go from water to glass and then to water. With each refraction, there is speed change. But because the indices of refraction of glass and water are closer than those for glass and air, there is less speed change and therefore less bending for each refraction. Light rays bend less means they would meet farther down their path. So the focal length is more than the 10 centimeters when the lens is in water? The answer is B.